Welcome to Beijing. I'm here during the weekend uh, between two legs of my business trip and I thought, well, let's do a video on some of the customs uh, in when you're engaging with uh, Chinese uh, counterparts during business. And today I'm going to talk to you about the banquet. The Chinese love food and they love their cuisine too. Lots of diversity, obviously you have things that are spicy, that they are bitter, they are sweet, and they even have things that stink. Yeah, like chou dofu, not a personal favorite of mine, although, you know, like for spicy stuff, like I'm always ready. When you're going to a banquet, your Chinese host is usually going to try to diversify the type of food that you have in front of you. And it's all going to be put usually on a round table that can be spun. Now, here's one way that you can kind of uh, show to your Chinese host that you're extremely civilized. Identify the leader of the group, and make sure that this guy or that woman uh, gets to eat the good stuff first. So that's going to elicit a, a few smiles. Eventually, it's going to be your turn, so go ahead and pick a few things. Should you taste everything? Ideally, yes. Now, this being said, the Chinese are not expecting you as a foreigner to like absolutely everything. It's quite okay that if you don't like something, to leave it on the side, but you want to try to taste everything. And then, if there's something that you find partially tasty, you say so, and you say it in Chinese, hao chi. Or, if you think the hao chi is too difficult to say, maybe you say ke kou. Ke kou. During a banquet, alcohol is also going to be provided. Now, there are basically two types of alcohol that usually one brings to the table in the regular Chinese banquet. First, beer, and second, baizhou, like the white alcohol. I do recommend caution with white alcohol. It can be quite strong, maybe 50% and up. Yeah. And your hosts are probably accustomed to it. Not, not all of them, so thank God. Uh, beer, on the other hand, is actually pretty standard. It's 3, 4% alcohol, 5%. Don't be fooled by what is written on the bottle. It's not the percentage, it's the degree. So usually, unless it's really some kind of craft beer, which you don't have too much of here, uh, it's going to be 3, 4, 5%. So it's something that is tolerable if you're drinking, of course. What about if you don't drink? Is that going to be perceived as an offense? Absolutely not. Just order Coke. It's usually generally available at all good restaurants. And the thing is that you just feed with Coke. I find in China, people are actually pretty understanding. They don't expect you to just like everything that they have to offer. But if you do enjoy it, say so, and they are going to get a kick out of it.